to let me know that nobody can nothing about you. Nobody's gonna uh, go to court for you. Nobody's gonna justify nothing. That's the way they carry on business. That's why we judge the world by our own environmental circumstances, by what is natural and consistently possible, not by what he set up. Because he's a master at arranging uh, sting operations and stupid operations. This is a big time dope dealer. They give him a bins and all that. He got this woman coming in and when you see him, you think he's a big time dope dealer. And he, he's got all the facilities. The police give him, they're all polices, right? So you get used to that stuff and they bring up stuff or put stuff in and you say, I don't know what they're trying to do here. This is arranged. This is the thing that, that saves your life. You can tell this environment is arranged. I don't know what they, you know what I mean? I'll think about it in the next three or four years or next month. I'll figure out what they wanted to do by three scenarios. You'll be relatively close what they wanted to do or what they wanted to take it. But one thing about it, this is arranged. So life saving. So, are you going to stick to kindness after we show you how niggas are? I don't care nothing about you. Well, only thing about kindness, I care. I'm the one getting the good feeling about helping people. <laughs> right? <laughs> if he say, F you, old handkerchief headed Negro, it don't make no difference to me. Cause I'm getting the, you know what I mean? You get the benefit of helping the people, right? So their reaction, which they can change and modulate, right? So you're gonna stick to that kindness. Oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Are you still gonna be humorous after this treatment? Of course. And optimistic, all you have to do is think back over the last 5, 10, 20, 30 years. Has there been any depression, any non-optimistic action or statements, no matter what they do? That's control of your environment. That's, that's good. That's focused. If you focused, can nobody do nothing to you because you're going to use everything for a benefit when you want to use it and how you want to use it. Right now, they can't handle that. I don't mean to sound braggadocious, but we got the white man and the Negroes on the hook. We got them on the hook. Why? They nibbling at everything. They nibbling. You can see the thing. Remember the old time? They just had a little cork. They use a cork. They use a red and white bob and put the hook under the bottom of it and have a cane pole. I guess people use rods and reels now. But in the country, you just stick that long pole out there, you know, with the hook. And the hook is on a little bob. Ooh. You know, remember the little thing go up and down? Maybe y'all look too modern and can use that stuff. But you remember that you can use a cork or you can use a little red and white ball. Red and white ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little ball. Yeah. And when the fish is nibbling on it, that thing goes. And then when he's nibbling, you let him nibble, nibble, nibble. And you give it a jerk and you snag it. You well, you miss him. If you if you miss him, he gonna come back and, and finish the rest. So when you snag him, you got him on the hook. We got the system on the hook. 
They can't pull us nowhere. We got them on the hook. They've been nibbling and biting and everything for decades and haven't gotten anywhere. You may not think this is nothing, but to do what we talk and to put this stuff, I'd be wondering if it's really going on the thing, but people call and act like they saw it. If they did, that's good. Don't make no difference. We got DVDs and we're going to get them out too. But we're going to develop the type of leadership that calls the best out of the American people that you and I will make a better world starting here. And in order to do that properly, our estimation is that we can function properly if in the next 15 years or so we can rise to the level of wealth, functionality, and the power of a medium-sized country like Mexico. It's a lot of uh, resources. But if we want to make a better world, got to look at it. It's not a trick. This is what we're doing. We're going to solve the problems of our country, get the petition, participation of the American people, all of them, all the churches, not all, but churches, synagogues, all that, they're going to be a happier, healthier people. The government is not going to do it because they can. Now imagine as we're 25% through this process. We're getting 10% through this process. It's a big deal. And the people will see that we, the people, States in order to farm more per year and do it day and establish this constitution. Well, we're going to make America a better place when we're inviting the people to do it. That's our idea to do it. I believe we're going to go a long, long way. So when everything starts going down and coming down, we will have the wealth, the resources, and the power to fix anything that will come up. What is that doing? That's making an alternative government, non-territorial government. So our great friends, like Dr. Kaleem Siddiqui, will not have died in vain. Mm. We're carrying on the same thing we've been doing all the time. And if you want to run them off in the woods and get them up in the air where they don't know what you're talking about and they think it's this, use Negro language. They will never suspect. Just think back one year ago. Think back five years ago when this latest episode kind of started. Do you think that this is where, do you think that they thought this is where we was going to be then? love, peace, harmony, and we're going to be strong and wealthy as Mexico. And we're not asking you to fix nothing. We're not asking for none of your money or nothing. Imagine the American people getting involved in their religion and practicing 10% of it. It is Can you imagine the, 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 the transition? Functional Christianity? Think about it. Functional Christianity, the Sermon on the Mount. Right? Blessed are the poor. The meek shall inherit their daughters. We're going to pull that off. Ha! <laughs> How about that for a goal? We don't care whether they like it or not. That's what we're trying to do. Can we lose? No. 
Can they lose? They already have. They have a whole country, they have a military, they have everything, and they effing up everything they touch. They don't touch nothing, but uh, they mess it up. Nothing. No social redemption, no nothing. Yes. You see, that's why America falls back, it's falling behind in trade, because they invest too much money into the military. They're not investing money in trade and stuff like they need to be doing. Man, they, they, I think they're number four, number five, man. And they got China and Japan and all them, so. <clears throat> the other day, the new bill. Pardon? They gave zoodles of money to the dumb military. Half of it. If not, look, they could just say, we don't need the military. Plus, if there's nobody to fight, <laughs> why do you need that? <laughs> why do you need a military like that? Those are the things that we will not outlaw, but in the future, in the great future, we don't need militaries. The military takes up all, hey, in America, not in, in Africa, one tank, modern tank, one modern tank. You can build a university from the ground up and staff it for a whole year with one doggone tank. And they want to keep wars going so you have to buy that. These people are unredeemable and insane. And the rich, powerful, and wealthy rulers have always been insane. They don't consider humans, animals, or nothing but servants of them. Right? So, we'll move toward a close. We want a world, fresh air, where you can leave your doors open. All that stuff is possible. We don't say 100% utopia. Remember what we said, 80%. 80%. Good society. Turn all the universities into some type of colleges. I don't know, all the penitentiaries. Can you imagine all of them? I don't know what the heck they are. Monstrosities all over America. Penal colonies, penitentiaries, serving no purpose but to run people crazy. Okay, dear believers, so that's our mission. That's our mission, Sabakum Liberation Movement, Sabakum Liberation Organization, Nonviolent Resistance. Homelessness, opiates, treatment centers, housing. We can solve that. We have the ability to make a better world now. These people are clowns, they don't talk. Remember they used to make things and they said, this is a labor-saving device. That's what all technology, farming technology is about. Now they got robots to do away with the people. How the hell are you gonna, why would you not stop your inventions at a certain level on that stuff? Keep going in medicine and all that. But why would you make something that makes the human being useless? You dummy, that's the... Because of M-O-N-E-Y. Only. And the new system, inshallah, during our time, we will have to deal with something in the first stage, resembling money. Resembling money. But that's not the motivation. Because if you can get a middle level living, like, and then develop your spirituality and all of that, hey man, you got a pretty good world. Well, you got a three bedroom house. 
Who needs a five bedroom house? Right. In that in that documentary on minimalism, right. they said most people don't even use, I think, forty percent of their house. They they mainly stay in a couple of rooms. That's right. So forty percent of their house is un, is unused. That's easy. That's an all of them. You got the house out there. And now with all these gadgets, you know, when Sakina's there, we have a nice couple of times a week we all sit in the living room and joke and talk and make fun of each other and da 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 da. And the rest of the time, everybody's in their room. In their own world. Their own world. Everybody. I mean, it's a nice atmosphere. I'm downstairs. If I come up, I pull and I turn on the TV and watch something or other. News usually. Everybody mill around to go to the bathroom and they go to the kitchen to get something to eat and they go back to their room. And they stay there. Because I go back to my downstairs and I stay there while I go run and stuff like that and do what I gotta do. But anyway, uh, see, we can, we can fix the world. It is possible now for that utopia, it's possible, everything is here. You know, 200 years ago, you had to work hard. I mean, people worked hard just to move out back. That work in the country on them farms was hard. Walking behind them mules, you had to walk way down there, you had to walk way back, and you dug everything. And if you was traveling, if you was in them...